Hey y'all, this is Jeff Wiseman. I'm going to show you tonight on my own low voltage recess cans how to change the light bulbs. It's very easy once you've done it the first time, but the first time can be tricky. This is how to change a light bulb on a Halo brand 4 inch low volt recess can with an MR16 bulb. As you can see, the bulbs right up there are working for me, but we're going to pretend that the light bulb is burned out and you need to replace it. First thing I'm going to do is turn the switch off. When I turn the switch off, there will be no power going to the can, and that will allow this bulb to cool down because they run very hot. Now that it's cooled down, second thing you want to do is get you a tall, at least a minimum of six foot ladder like I've got in the background right here. Don't use a step stool and I'll show you why. Okay, here's the deal. I've got normal eight foot ceilings here. Six foot ladder. I'm almost six foot tall and right now I'm standing on the second rung of this ladder which would be the top rung of your step stool. Okay, look at this. You're on your step stool, you lose your balance, guess what? You're not going to recover your balance until you hit the ground. If you lose your balance on a six foot ladder, boom. I got something to catch me, support me, I got one hand to rest on while I work on the light. You don't have this off of a step stool. You will break your neck on a step stool. Don't even bother using one. First thing you want to do is grab the outside ring of the can. You can do it with one hand. You can do it with two hands if you want. Pull down on it. Straight down. A little bit of a twisting motion and the whole thing pulls down and will usually hang from the wires. Up on the fixture you will see a silver reflector ring that's attached to the bulb. Pull that from the bulb and release the whole trim and light bulb assembly. The socket that the bulb attaches to will stay hanging in the ceiling. Okay, as you can see you've got your recessed trim safely down out of the ceiling. Simply remove the bi-pin MR16 low voltage bulb from the two spring retaining clips inside the recessed trim. Discard your bulb. Whoops. This is a good time if you want to remove the glass and clean it. After several years, five or more years, this glass can get really dirty. Okay, now as you can see, I've cleaned the glass lens. I reinsert that back into the recessed trim. I've got a brand new bulb. I slide that back into the housing and boom, we are ready to reinstall this back into the ceiling. Okay, now that you have the new light bulb in the trim, you just reverse the steps. Grab the silver reflector socket. It's got two holes in it. The bulb has two pins on it, also known as a bi-pin bulb. In this case, bi-pin bulb means two pins. It does not mean that the bulb is confused. It does, however, mean that the bulb goes both ways. Also why it's called a bi-pin bulb. You can put it in this way, or you can switch it 180 degrees, and it will go in the other way. Grab the bi-pin socket, push the two pins on the bulb into the socket, 
It should firmly go in, still hanging. Gently push the whole fixture back up into the ceiling and you're done. It's very easy. Now you go try it on your tall ladder. That's it for now. Thanks. This is Jeff Wiseman. Good night. <laughs>